Chapter number eight, show and telling. Dear first grade journal, today I brought my new glasses to school. They are hiding in my sweater pocket because I don't want to put them on. That's why. My stomach is in a knot ball. Also, there's tension in my head because we're having show and tell soon. I wish this day was over. From Junie B, first grader. Mr. Scary clapped his hands. Okay, boys and girls, please put your journals away now. I'll give you more time later if you need it. But right now we have to get started with show and tell. Who would like to go first this morning? May sprang out of her chair. I would, I would, she hollered out. Then they quick grabbed a brown envelope out of her backpack and she ran to the front of the room. It's my report card from kindergarten, everyone, she said. I brought my report card to share with you. May waved it all around in the air. Look, look, can everyone see this? I got all E pluses. E is for excellent. See, there's an E plus next to every single subject. She held the report card in front of her. Okay, now I will read you each subject one by one, she said. After that, she took a deep breath and she started to read. Number one, I followed directions. Number two, I use my time wisely. Number three, I observe school rules. Number four, I cleaned up my work area. Number five, I... Mr. Scary stood up. Thank you, May, he said. That is very interesting, but I'm afraid we're gonna have to move along. May raised her voice. Number five, I was courageous and respectful. Number six, I used materials wisely. Number seven, I... Just then, Mr. Scary took May's arm and he led her back to her seat. Lenny raised his hand to go next. He passed around his new styling gel. Plus also, he let us touch his hair. After that, Sheldon showed us how long he could stand on one foot, and Jose sang a song about frogs, and Shirley showed us her turkey sandwich. She showed us the bread and the mayonnaise and the tomato. Mr. Scary finally stood up again. All righty, Shirley, excellent sandwich, he said, but I really think it should go back in the bag now. Shirley sat down. Mr. Scary looked around the room. Okay, who wants to go next, he said. My stomach flipped and flopped because a nervous idea popped into my head. That's why. I looked down at my glasses in my sweater pocket and I swallowed really hard and I quick raised my hand in the air. Me, I blurted out. I do. Mr. Scary smiled. Great, Junie B, he said. Did you bring something to share? I quick pulled my hand down again. No, I said, I just changed my mind. My heart was thumping and pumping. I peeked at my glasses one more time. And then all of a sudden my legs stood up and they rushed me to the front of the room. My knees were wobbly and shaking. I bent over and I did deep breaths. <sighs> Mr. Scary came over to me. Are you okay, Junie B? he asked. Would you like to sit down and wait to do this another day? No, I said, I want to get this over with. Then fast as anything, I reached into my pocket and I pulled out my new glasses. May started to laugh. It was loudish and meanish. Look, it's her glasses. She brought her glasses for show and tell and oh, they're purple. Tears came in my eyes. I quick covered my face with my hands. I wanted to sit down real bad, but my legs wouldn't even move. I stood there very frozen. Mm. Remember that wrinkled heart? I think her friends maybe wrinkled her heart, didn't they? And then all of a sudden I heard a noise. It was the sound of running feet, I think. And I looked up and my friend Herb was running to the front of the room. And guess what? He took glasses right out of his hand and he put them on his own face. Cool purple glasses, he said. He looked all around. Wow, he said. My eyes could never see out of these, Junie B. Your eyes must be really special. 
He looked admiring at me. How do your eyes even do that? Do you have x-ray vision or something? I shrugged my shoulders, kind of shy. I don't actually know Herbert, I said, but possibly. Herb gave the glasses back to me. Here, he said, put them on and read something. I rocked back and forth on my feet. Well, okay, Herb, if you insist, I said. And after that, I put on my glasses and I walked all the way to the back of the room and I read the announcement off the board. Friday, September 23rd, I read. Today, get ready for show and tell. I smiled real proud. The end, I said. After that, I went back to my desk and Herb hurried over to me and he gave me a high five. And guess what else? Lenny and Jose gave me high fives too. Mr. Scary did a thumbs up. Excellent glasses, Junie B. Jones, he said. See, si, said Jose, excellent day. Yes, called Lucille. I like those glasses too, Junie B, cause purple is a popular fashion color this fall. My heart felt cheery at that news. I looked at May very smuggy. Well, yay for purple. I said. After show and tell was over, Mr. Scary gave us more time for our journals. I picked up my pencil real happy and I added two more lines. P.S. Hey, what do you know? I think I might like this first grade. I looked around the room and grinned because everything was crystal clear. You see her writing in her journal? The end. And I hope you're like Junie B. Jones and that you learn to love first grade too. See you next time. Bye-bye.